We are on an original Inca trail. So we're standing in front of the first tomb right now. It's very hard to get access to this place, so not many people have seen this. Look at this, they've already started. Pachamanca. Gracias. It is amazing. Guys. We're Alex and Lindsay, two travelers who are exploring South America, when suddenly, strict lockdown began leaving us stuck abroad. We've been here for months, and even though lockdown is lifted, things in Peru are far from normal. We're documenting the whole thing and sharing it with you. Good morning guys from Apu Lodge. We are just getting some coffee and tea bright and early before we start our two night, three day trek today. We have coffee, sugar, milk, everything that we asked for. And then they also gave us some coca, which is either for chewing or for coca tea, which you can make right here. They knew we were going on a big hike, so they figured maybe the coca waves would come in handy. <laughs> and they will. But instead of putting them in tea, I put them in my coffee. Such a perfect way to start the morning. We have a view of the mountains and they have this little waterfall here in their garden so you can like hear the sound of the waterfall, birds chirping. We're off to a good start for the day. And we're gonna get picked up in about an hour by Eddie. He's our uh, trekking guide. And I have to say I'm slightly nervous for a two night hike. I've never camped while hiking so this should be an interesting experience. And apparently <laughs> it gets really cold and windy here. It's like known for being windy so. Uh oh. Wish us luck. The anyway. first night we are staying in this really, really cool dome, so that should help. So I only have one night of cold camping. So as always, before a hike or a trek, coca. Coca leaves to help with the altitude, to help help with your breathing, and to give you a burst of energy. So feeling good this morning. <laughs> Alright, so there's pretty much nothing opened for breakfast except for this one place, so we're getting some eggs, sandwiches, before we go on our trek. So this is made of quinoa. I guess it's like a quinoa juice, I'm not really sure. And this is maca. I've been having a lot of maca powder, which is very good for you. So we're gonna get some maca juice. So we just got out of town and we're beginning our trek. We're on an original Inca trail, and today we're going to be seeing an old school that the Incas used. These are granaries, and people would come from all over, or the Incas, on this Inca trail. They would bring whatever they had from their area of Peru, so say they had coca leaves. They would trade coca leaves for the grains that they would make here and keep in there. And these granaries are all over the hills along this trail. The way you know if it's a granary is if it has that little window. Our guide was telling us that originally they thought that these were houses for like prisoners because there's no door. But then they later found out that those windows are to keep the food and everything they put in there very fresh with the air coming through. So look, you can eat this, you can eat this plant. So the plant, it's called matcha matcha. Let's give it a try. Wow, tastes kind of sweet, kind of sour. It's kind of like a green apple. The eldest ladies, they always boil these to sell on the streets. In the market, you will see this medicinal herb. This is really, really good for infections also. So this here, this is the tuna fruit. We had that maybe a month or two ago. We were in Peru and it comes off of a cactus. It just grows right on there. So now we're leaving the trail to see a tomb. So this tomb, someone's already taken out the body because our guide was telling us that a lot of times when they would bury these people in the tombs, they would bury them with valuables like gold, silver. Pottery. So a lot of people will 
you know, try to get the valuables out. He also said when they would bury the bodies, they would bury them in the fetal position because they believe in reincarnation, and so... Fetal position like a baby. So, reincarnation, yeah. going straight back into the form of a baby after death. All right guys, so we are on an Inca trail where tourists, they just, they don't go on this trail. Not many people do at all. So we're someplace special where nobody really goes. And we're on our way to an Inca school. So it's possible we may be the first tourists to go to the Incan school. So it's a school, it's a ruin, and supposedly it's not even very easy to get in there. We took a machete and we're gonna cut down some brush. Okay, so to get to the Inca school, that we're still keeping secret. So you see the path is still with bushes, so this is the first time Alex and Lindsay you're doing. So we're gonna cut, be careful please. So we had to put on our jackets to go through here because these are all big thorn bushes. Hard to cut it. Oh god. Okay, I have a machete. I've never used one of these before. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna use it Can to I do it for you. <laughs> move them. Proceed with caution. So this is why nobody goes through here. <laughs> it's all cacti, thorn brush. All right. Worth it. You have to hold it all out of the way like this. Here, hold this so it doesn't get on you. Oh. Wow. We're here. This was a school. Incredible guys, look at this place. It's just us here. It's very hard to get access to this place, so not many people have seen this. Even a lot of people that live in the town very close by don't know about this place. So we're seeing something very special. An Inca school. And each of these separate uh, compartments, each of them was a different classroom. Ah, look at this. Nature has just taken over this place. Although it's very cool that no one really goes here, so it's cool for us, and that it's kind of abandoned. It's very cool to see. This might just fall and might all be gone if they don't do something about this. So one thing that Eddie, our guide, wants to do is bring more attention to this place and hopefully get some help to take out some of these weeds and make it so that it doesn't continue to just fall apart into nothing over the next several years. So right now we're inside the school. You can see by this ledge here that it actually was two stories. So there would have been wood here to make a wooden floor. But of course the wood came down but the stone remains. So the school is actually possibly pre-Inca, which means that it might have been standing here for the last thousand, two thousand years. That's incredible that it's still here. It's still just standing here, but we have it all to ourselves. Besides these flies. <laughs> Woo! Maybe, there are probably 16 to 20 different rooms here. And he was saying that the schools of the Inca are always away from the main town because part of their learning process was actually the walking. Like, walking from town all the way up here. So it wasn't just learning in the school, learning with homework like we do these days. It was learning about the plants along the way, learning about nature as well. 
Guys, that was awesome. Now we're leaving the school. We have to go back through these thorn bushes and cacti and try to get to our destination. Wow. We just came to an old Inca house in the hills here and Eddie's brother is restoring it. So it's an old Inca house, just really up here in the middle of nowhere. Restoring it, putting some windows in. And he's gonna live in here. So it just has the modern touches with the window, more modern door. Right okay, we finally made it for lunch. Look at this, they've already started. Pachamanca. Okay, so the food is buried now, and it's gonna be about 40 minutes until lunch is served, and they're gonna unbury it. Alright, so Lindsay's gonna try one of the beans they just took out. This is a fava bean. It looks like a giant pea pod. You open it up and inside there's the beans. Ooh, hot. So we've had Pachamanca once before, so it'll be interesting to try another one to see how it compares. Look how big this bean is. It kind of has the flavor of a pea, a little less strong, but wow. consistency of a bean. It's like a huge pea. <laughs> it's good. Huh. All right, now they're taking out the potatoes. So another different thing from the last time we tried pachamanca, this is a sweet potato rather than a regular potato. Mm. I like it better than the regular potatoes. Oh yeah. It has a lot of flavor. Now that's how you cook a sweet potato. That might be the best sweet potato I've had. Look at that, they pulled out some of the lamb. So it was kind of done in layers. At the top was the beans, then the potatoes, and then the meat at the very bottom. And they're still going in there for something. Pretty cool that we get to have Pachamanca again. I could get used to this. <laughs> this is the second lunch we've had cooked underground. It feels like such a natural way to prepare your food. Just in the ground on these hot stones cooking. It works well. It's always good. Oh, gracias. So you eat this with your hands. We have some sweet potato, regular potato, lamb, and the beans. Gracias. There it is. Potatoes, beans, lamb. Well, most of our, our second meat. Pachamanca. Most of our meat. Okay, we just finished lunch and we are going to the top of the mountain to these domes. Wow, guys. Here is the dome. We're gonna sleep in tonight. It looks amazing. <sighs> Look at this. So we just wanted to give you a little tour of this bubble back here. You guys are gonna love it. It is amazing. Welcome to Zedong. So this place has two floors. We're on the first floor now. There are five bedrooms. We're gonna show you two of the bedrooms. One is basically like a master bedroom and bathroom. 
Look at how big this is. So it's not done yet, but when it is done, there's going to be obviously beds in each bedroom. But each room has a special view. And in here, we have the master bathroom, which has a massive jacuzzi. So all these rooms are pretty much the same. That's the only one that has like the jacuzzi tub, but every room has its own bathroom. And there's a ton of different Inca detail all around this place. All right, now we're gonna show you where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. All right, so let's go around the dome on this side where you have the main views of the place. So pretty much 180 degrees, so half of this place has amazing views of these mountains and a valley, towns down there. So you go around here to get to the top floor. That's one of the cool things about this place is that you can walk around the whole thing and there are railings. So some units, they have decks like this uh, when they're kind of on the side of the cliff. So two of them have that and others, when they're not on the side of the cliff, they have a lawn. So you get views pretty much around this whole place. They have a kitchen up there. They're still working on a lot of the details, but let's go upstairs where it is blank, a blank slate, but we're gonna sleep up there tonight. And that's where you can see the stars all night. There isn't much air pollution either, so you see a ton more stars than like we would see back home in most places. Wow. 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 Guys, up, down, all around, views all around us. And then, look, they just set us up some beds over here. All right, guys, we are sleeping on mattress pads and sleeping bags. And these are our pillows. Look how tiny they are. We're going to look up at the stars and hang out all night long. I kind of assumed that all the guys, uh, our, our guide, the porters, all of them, I thought they were all gonna sleep up here too, so it would be kind of family style. But it looks like it's just gonna be us. They just set up our stuff here. The whole place to ourselves. They have a few different domes, but this is the biggest one. It has five bedrooms, and the other ones are just small domes that don't really have any separate rooms or anything like that. But they are beautiful in their own way too. Uh, we are on a three-day trek right now. I guess we didn't really explain that too well. And we're going to try to make a video for each day of the trek. So this should be a three-part series. And watch the whole thing because we're seeing some really cool things every day. This could be the highlight of our trip. Right now they're cooking dinner. There's a kitchen right over here. They're making some coffee. I'm going to have some coffee after our full day trek. A little tired. We're gonna have quinoa soup for dinner. Yeah. And then, if this camera will allow it, we're gonna show you guys our view of the stars later tonight. <laughs> making some adventure suites up there on the side of the cliff. Oh, wow. Look at this view and look at there's one down there. Wow. Look at the glacier. Look at the glacier. Look at this. There are three or four pods up there. And then we have the domes here. One, two, three. So Lindsay didn't hold on to her hat and it just flew down here. It's so he's going to get it. It's very windy up here. I put it on the tightest setting on my hat. Woo! So much wind. This might be one of the best views in this area of Peru. So it looks like they're still working on this one, but it's gonna be amazing. Wow. Look at the view you're gonna have from in here. I'm getting a little bit of cover from the wind right now in this dome. Look at this. They're currently building, I think, four of these. And then you can see the pods on the side of the cliff. There are three or four of those as well. Wow. Look, 
So we're above one right now. One of the pods. Look at the others over there. This will be the hot tub. And that will be the bed. Wow. We just got cuddled into our sleeping bags and we're gonna look at the stars. <laughs> and fall asleep and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. guy was telling us that they thought that that originally okay wait wait we're gonna see a lot of tombs up here of the Inca and this oh, 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 spiky bushes Maybe you shouldn't walk while you're and there's a ton of different like Aztec wait not Aztec Inca <laughs> if you want more if you want daily stuff you should head to Instagram find us at Alexander Travel Bob and that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.